Sandy Hodgkins here from West Meadow Farm in Bradford, New Hampshire, and we are on to challenge number 41. This one is to open and close a gate. I remember one of the first times riding with Tom Curtin, he said, doing the gate work is one of the easiest things to do, but the most painful to watch. So in this challenge, you need to be able, the goal is that you could open, ride through, and close a gate, and the benefits this challenge helps you to become handy as a rider and your horse gain confidence through small spaces. It helps with yielding, sideways, and partnership from you and your horse. It's also mighty convenient to not have to dismount every time you go through a gate. All right, so there's a couple common mistakes. I want to interrupt that behavior. All right, not waiting for relaxation. Some horses can get pretty emotional when it comes to opening a gate. Being naturally claustrophobic, they are presented with lots of squeezes in this challenge. So you want to make sure that the gate doesn't become the place of pressure. If your horse is having an issue with it, you can go do something else and then come back to the gate and make sure you rest. Don't add more pressure at the gate. And then another common mistake is your horse taking over. So pretty soon your horse will know the pattern and then they'll just kind of go through the maneuver, which is really good for competition, but you want to make sure that you're able to, um, Dave Ellis calls it, wait for orders from headquarters. So you're going to set them up and then wait and then allow it to happen. Okay. I actually did um, a chapter in one of Linda's new books all about opening and closing a gate. And there's actually eight different ways that you can go through a gate. So it depends on if you're going forwards or backwards, right-handed, left-handed, and if you're pushing the gate away from you or towards you. For me, on a new horse, I like to push the gate away from me. And then it creates kind of an open space for the horse to go through. And then also, if they panic, because the gate's open, it's not going to get locked on their hips. Where if you pull it towards yourself, and they get, go through the gate and they get panicked, they can pull the gate into themselves. So for the first time, I like to push it away. All right, so we're gonna set this book down. Okay, so this gate here, for ease-wise, ease we're gonna go up, it'll be a right hand. And Joe Walter had a really good tip. He says, when you go to the gate, don't ride to the latch ride to the hinges so that when you turn and you get to the latch, then you're straight to the gate, or you know, sideways to the gate. So we're gonna ride to the hinges.
Rocky, and we're going to do the gate with Rocky. And he will have probably, I'm guessing, a little bit more fear issue, and so we'll kind of slow down and we'll address the things that show up with him. All right, so we're going to do the gate with Rocky, and I can show you, you know, we've done the gate with him before. It's not real quick, um, but if we do, if we run into something that makes him a little, little unsure, then, then we'll address it. I really want it to be his idea to go up to the gate. So we'll just kind of see what happens. I'm going to ask for some forwardness. And then he gets a big sign of comfort. I'm riding to the hinges. care if it's a metal gate, uh, if it's a rope gate, you know, those can be a little easier sometimes because you don't have a stationary place, you know, that you have to um, do it in. But sometimes horses are worried about electric fences, so the gate makes it harder. But whatever gate you have, that would be just fine. You could also, if you don't have a gate, you could set up two barrels with a pole over the barrel and then see if you can pick up the pole, ride through, and then put the pole back down. That would be a fun one also. Okay, really have fun with this task. It will tell you a lot about your horse and your horsemanship. All right, everybody.
everybody. So seeing how George is already on West Wind, we quickly set up the two barrels with the pole. So if you don't have a gate, then this is another way you can do it. I want you to still pretend like it's a gate and don't lift it up over your head. Okay, go ahead. Very good. All right, so some kind of fun you can play with. 